All right, uh, we're here with Karen Mitchell, who's the head coach of our under-14-1 Blues girls team. Um, they've qualified for the National Junior Classic, which will be played this weekend. I've got Karen here with me. Uh, I'm just going to ask her a few questions. So, qualifying for the Classic's a great effort, Karen. You must be extremely proud of your players. I am. Yeah, I am very proud of them. They've worked. Uh, they've worked extremely hard for actually for five years since we started this group as uh, double bottom age kids five years ago, and. Um, we lost our starting point guard in January of this year and so all the girls have really had to step up, so they have and so we've still been able to achieve most of our goals. We, we hope to make nationals but that hasn't happened but Classic, BC, so two out of three. Um, have you coached at the Classic before um, and have any of your players played at the Classic before? I have assistant coached at the Classic in the last couple of years. Um, I've got two bottom age players that played in it last year as under 12s and they came third. They had a great, great uh, tournament and um, I played in it as a kid. Yeah, yeah. we'll get to that a bit later on. Um, what have been the highlights of your season thus far? Um, highlights. Uh, just the, I, I can't think of an actual game that I would say has been a highlight as such, except for before Christmas we, um, we beat Knox and we've never beaten Knox in our age group and um, they are undefeated on the other side of the pool currently and Melbourne are undefeated on ours and they are kind of the benchmark so that was very exciting for us to to beat them pre-Christmas to qualify early for VC but apart from that really just the the girls individually stepping up has been really a highlight for me. Good answer from a good coach. Um, so obviously to make Classic, you've finished in the top, or you've, you're at the top four, you're in yep, the top four third. currently, finished yep. third yep. Um, at, the, at the break. Yep. So you've had a good start to the season. Does that give you a lot of confidence going into the Classic? Do you know much about any of the teams, specifically the non-Victorian teams? Is there any of them that you're familiar with, or is it all just kind of an unknown? Yeah, it really is a bit of an unknown. And we're, like, we've got obviously Max injured, but we've also got Zoe's carrying a shoulder. Mickey did her ankle on Friday night. So we're a little bit, um, we've got a few injuries to carry, but because um, our under 14 age group is so strong with the two teams in VC, we've managed to, we've been able to pull in three girls from the twos who are also already at the level to round out to 12 players. And we've also got Adam um, step in to help us as well. So I do feel confident that we're going in with a really good group. And um, I think top eight is definitely gettable. After that, I'm not, not too sure. Okay, cool. So the last thing I'll touch on is uh, this photo here that we've got. Do you want to grab that one for me for a second? Um, so obviously we've got uh, Steve Fagan, who is the uh, the head coach of the yeah. under 12 one girls. They've also qualified for yes. the classic. Now, for those that don't know, uh, Karen's actually also our under 14s and under 12 girls coaching coordinator. So you must be very proud of that age group. Um, and that, that team qualifying for Classic as well. Yeah, the under the under 12 ones have had an amazing start to the season. Steve's doing an awesome job and they they are just, um, they're smashing teams. Yeah. They're just going out, they're being relent relentless. Um, Zoe, who is also in this team with me, um, who is Steve's wife, she had the majority of those kids last year as the 12 threes and did an amazing job with them and then Steve has been able to carry that on and um, yeah they're doing awesome. I think top four for them I think yep. would not be unrealistic. At the classic or yep. yep. Are they they're four. currently undefeated yes. in uh, no, BC? They're second. They're second. Yeah 8-1. Okay. Yep. Excellent. Alright well Karen thank you very much for your time. Um, good luck this weekend we'll be watching. Daniel will be there doing some coverage and uh, yeah all the best from everyone at uh, Frankston Basketball. Thank you. Thank Go you. Blues.